This is code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. Let's see what we're doing. Background. Sometimes you want to fill the entire screen with color. For that, you can use background. Oh, cool. It covers everything on the screen with color you choose. Do this. Run the code to see background work. Okay. We're going to click run. And it works. It's yellow. <laughs> Change the background from yellow to orange. Okay. Um, the background to yellow. Orange. We're going to flip that to orange. And what? And it does nothing. Why is it doing nothing? Do you know? Do you know? Because that is a fill color. Our background is way down here. So, let's try that again orange. Reset, run. Great. But wait a minute. What was this? Fill orange wrecked where it's missing something. I only see this blue one. Challenge. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> there is a purple square that is covered up by the background. Whoops, I made it orange now. It used to be purple. Can you change the order of the code so you can see both purple and blue squares? All right, well, I better switch that back to purple. Okay, the order. So remember, it draws the stuff or it does the stuff in order that we have it. So our first line is purple and our second line is this rectangle. So it does create a second rectangle, right? But then it creates this orange background over it. To show you what I mean, if I put this last, what the computer will do for the very last thing is create a big orange background, which means everything's covered because it paints over everything at the very end. I'm going to put this at the top and let's see. Ta-da! We got a purple square. We got the blue square. We got an orange background. We are doing well. Great. Let's keep going. 